in this video I'm going to show you how to program a hex file from an Atmos Studio project into a Proteus design. So what I've done here is I have got a Proteus design here and my Proteus design, what it's hap happening here, I'm just uh, taking this uh, Atmel uh, at Mega 328P and basically I'm just writing a pro I've got a program that I've written uh, to just count the specific uh, seven segment display from 0 to 9 and repeating that. Um, first thing I just want to mention is that there's always a problem with uh, Proteus, especially with this sp uh, specific microcontroller, that in my program, if I can just quickly go to the program, I used a delay of 500 milliseconds. If you look at the Proteus design, you will see that the count is not 500 milliseconds. It's in actual fact extremely slow. So just to get a, a better sense of what's happening, I'm going to, in my Atmos Studio, I'm just going to change this and make it 10 times uh, uh, slower uh, or smaller then. And then if I just build this, uh, if I build this and I go back to my Proteus, you will see if I start, stop and start again, you will see that the count is more representative at this stage. But my purpose is not to show you the program. I'm just mentioning this time, uh, time frame problem. What I want to do is I just want to show you quickly how to load this Proteus design, this at Mega uh, 328P with the required hex file. So in my specific case, I'm sitting, I've created this project already, seven segment, it says seven segment here. If I double click on uh, seven segment, I will go into that and I'll fetch the hex file which must be programmed onto the Proteus design. So let's quickly go back here. If you double click on the Proteus uh, design, the chip, you must just make sure that uh, it says the, the at mega, but once you've, if you have chosen this as the part, the component, it will not be a problem. It will be there. Uh, make sure that you see this SPDIL28 here. Make sure that you select that one. And then where it says program file, this is where you must tell this thing where to get the X file from. So in my specific case, I have, if I can just go back, I've created on desktop a temporary folder. Um, and in this temporary folder, I've created another folder. And this is the at uh, the Atmos Studio. So if I double click again on seven segment, you'll go into debug. And once you're into debug, you will see there's a seven segment and it's a hex file. And if you double click here, this is the file that will be loaded into the Proteus design. So there you will see it, seven segment dot hex. And if you just click OK, then uh, it would have loaded the hex file in here into this uh, simulation Proteus uh, chip. And if I then start the program, it will count according to my program that I've written. And this is how you load a hex file onto a Proteus design. Thank you.